person take the slot while somebody else is doing something else. You never know, man. Like I say, show up and the doors sometimes will be open and the first step is putting your foot in the door, man. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, if you guys are like, I hope somebody clips this whole segment. <laughs> I, I, I host a little podcast called Smash Talk Podcast, and I know it's something we haven't talked about on that podcast, but I, I, I hope to put out more content for you, which is what I'm working on. Um, but well, well, speaking of content and working on things, Nico is going to be working on the paper in this winter seventh. Yes, he is. Now, I think uh, Game Watch has to play this matchup a little more proactive, just because you can't really sit and shield and, and play like play like a turtle. Uh, Shulk is, is has the speed, of course, if he needs it, and he has the huge hitboxes that can just pressure Game Watch. Yeah. I do like the fact that Nico kind of just switches to Buster and looks for the landing too. And I mentioned earlier for you guys back at home, right? Buster Art does do more damage. It also does more damage on shield. Quick little fun fact, uh, Buster Art is also known as the Arsene Erasing Art. As you do more damage, you can also do more damage to Joker, who in turn will lose Arsene a lot faster. So that's something for you uh, Shulk main aficionados out there. So there you go, learn something new every... Yeah. And then a change from Smash 4 to Ultimate is side B now auto snap to launch. Because you have to be careful yes. with the range. You can't always, it doesn't like do it like at a large margin or like a large grab box on the ledge. You have to really space in. Nico just knows. Yeah, it's 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 tricky. Yeah. Uh, especially if you're, I've seen Nico go for it, but really high. Yeah. And it also comes down with a landing hitbox, a very long lasting hitbox. And if you are facing away from backslash, you do take more knockback. So you have to be careful. You're facing. So backslash does more damage, more more knockback if your opponent is facing away from you. Hence the name backslash. That's actually one of Shulk's moves from the actual game. Oh, because yeah, yeah the whole idea of that. So he used to be like the damage dealer in the party, right? Yeah, he's he's so, more of the yeah, he's the DPS of the party in your And the, kind of a lot of the combat in that game was like drawing aggro, so he yeah. could hit them from behind. Okay, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, that's what's really big in. Uh, like Rex in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, he has a very similar move to, move to Backslash. I don't remember the name because it's been a while since I played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but like, you have to also, he also can draw aggro, you have your tank and your healer. Oh, that's a lot, man. That game, if you haven't played a Xenoblade gameplay, it's, it's really great. Definitely one of the one of the best, more refreshing JRPGs of this generation. So back to the game. Oh, yeah. Into jump art, and what he's able to do here is actually just kind of carry paper drop through the ledges, and still able to make the recovery to do the damage. And like I said, Demon Watch being the lightweight character that he is, it's really frustrating to be in that spot. Alright, yeah, he gets to that back row down there and spaces it a little more. He ends up below him, which could have ended up disastrously for paper, but he's go not taking advantage of it, of it just decides to get back to stage. Uh, oh, he's for the counter. So again, so you're saying he's not really doing that to uh, maybe even get any damage, but you want to be positional. Positioning, yeah, it does position you ahead of your opponent. It will kill if you get the right counter. It, I don't remember how it works. I apologize to anybody in the show Discord who remembers, but it's able to actually kill if you get it on like a certain distance and the way it works. Uh, but it's more positioning, and you're able to get ahead of position. Okay, yeah, Dash Jack, nice. Uh, just pressuring a shield with the uh, forward air. Uh, just because the hitbox is a little delayed there, you can uh, sort of react to how he goes to react. He goes to roll away there, and Dash Jack killed him. Okay. Nice, Nair. Usually Nico goes for Nair, can confirm the back air, but also it's really good because like the hitbox goes behind him and he's able to move in and kind of punish his opponent while walking away. Yeah, these, uh... What is it? Is it bacon that he's throwing? Oh, uh, yeah. It's called Chef, but it's a mix of items. So it's bacon and... Bacon, sausage, and steak. Yeah, uh, Paper using it to kind of try to stuff out some of Nico's approaches. Yeah, and it's, like, we see how it's been trading pretty evenly with, like, forward air, back air. So it's really good for people to do it at that position, but there are times where like people just does it overzealously, and you can get punished for yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad for him. Uh, but I, I think he's choosing his, his uh, uses of his wisely. Not really using him in a 
Schultz in the field of Buster Mode. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be not it. But he does give him the prime position to go for an edge guard. Or just honestly have face control, which is really big, and the falling up air hit will take it. Yeah, so I, I think that Game Watch is also a floaty. Well, yeah, a he, bit, he's so. a floaty, super lightweight, falls in the top five category of the widest characters in the game. Yeah, so he dies. He's probably. He, Dies probably the earliest. Maybe Pichu dies a little earlier to kill moves off the top. Pichu, Pichu dies the earliest because Pichu can die like at 30. She's the lightest character in the game. Or she is the lightest character in the game. Um, Game and Watch falls. Uh, Squirtle, Actually, Game and Watch. And, and uh, 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 Tiddly Puff Peach? are both like super close. So yeah. die off the top like really early. Exactly. Also, like, for those of you guys watching, like, the one thing that Nico, if you guys want to watch him, like, definitely tune into his streams uh, on Twitch, two scoops underscore Nico. Nico will always play show up and he'll play other games as well, and he'll elaborate, like, his mentality of the game state here. But the one thing I do notice that Nico does, and for those of you watching, he's like, um, he plays Shulk the way that Shulk works for him. So sometimes you won't see him go for, like, a lot of the, like, the big Shulk that's out there. I know there's a really popular like, Twitter video where, like, Shulk can just walk forward and change arts instantly. Like, Nico won't do that sometimes because he goes for what works for him best and at the time. So, but if you guys want to, like, more, more insight into Nico's, like, mind state, definitely follow him on his, on his, um, on his Twitch, 2 scoops underscore Nico. I think he's working on a YouTube channel. Um, that's how I spoke to him, but definitely follow him and subscribe to him and you guys can get more on oh, his high inside of the character and other games he plays as well. Well, yeah, it's hard because if you're always incorporating new things and new techniques in gameplay, uh, sure it's going to give you, you know, more options and improve your, your play overall. But if you're going for it all the time, uh, especially in tournament, you, you can uh, just you know, get punished for screwing it up. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, you get caught up in your movement or something and just Ooh. die because... Uh, or you're thinking about your tech too much, you're not watching your opponent. Yeah. So it, it's really hard to do that. And you need to kind of temper that with what you are good and comfortable with. Exactly. And like any tech and any and any um, and any movement and anything in sports, you always must practice it force first before you can implement it. Yes. So far though, Nico up three stocks up against Paper, and he's kind of been doing a really good job of like, the one thing that Shulk does have in this matchup against Game & Watch is that range. <laughs> the way he can just try, kind of challenge him too. Yeah, definitely. And not only that, being able to live long. That was a really good side beat from Nico too. He waited for it, but the best adaption Paper had there is waiting for the start of that, because the one thing that Shulk does have that kind of like slows him down is startup frames. Most of his moves, even though he has a lot of great knockback and a lot of great stuff, Startup frames for a lot of his moves are really slow. So that's working one department he doesn't suffer. You know, uh, Game of Thrones' up B kind of reminds me of Samus' up B in Melee. Yeah. In that it's like really good out of shield, but you don't really all, if your opponent's facing well, you don't really take a lot of damage from it. It just kind of resets the situation. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, like a get out of jail free card. Like I said, look at how that one does. No kill at the ledge. Can you? Can you imagine that? Like, you're, like Marth, Roy, any other Fire Emblem characters, man? Any other character with the counter? That would have been death. Uh, possibly. Uh, the Bacon is, is not that or the fake yeah. or whatever you got. It's not that strong of a move, though. The like, reason why. Those, uh, yeah, and the reason why is that Shulk's counter, if I'm not mistaken, is actually not damage based. Uh, it's mo not? Yeah, it's not damage based. Oh, I So, see. like, for example, like, it's, um, I have to, like, I have to, like, check my back, so definitely don't hold me up against it. Like, take us with a grain of salt. Um, the way that the Fire Emblem cast the shop, most of them have the counter. There's this damage base. Therefore, if they take damage, they do 1.2 to 1.4 times more damage to you based on the counter. Shulks is not based on the counter. That's what kind of, like, makes them suffer in that department. We got game three, boys. Yep. And in the game, the reason, in, I don't know if you're wondering like how it works in Zombie Chronicles, Vision is just uh, a thing in the game that allows Shulk to see what his opponents are going to do next um, in the game. So it allows you to kind of like calculate, okay, if I have Vision and my enemy that I'm fighting right now is going to be doing these moves, I need to find a way to draw aggro and then set up my team's like paradigm to be able to counter my opponent's next big move. That's how it works in the game. 
Okay. I thought it worked kind of like uh, if they're going to be able to kill you or something, you, you would know, no. and, like do enough damage to you. Yeah. It's more of like you get an advancement of like what the, what move they're going to hit you with next. Kind of like Pokemon. Yeah. Like you're like if you're into the Pokemon competitive scene, like you're able to like foresight what move they're going to do, and then it's up to you to figure out how I'm going to stop myself from like you know getting hit by this big big damage. It's a really cool mechanic. It kind of keeps the battle system fresh. Nah, man. I I'm, I'm just one big, big gamer. <laughs> Once again, Alrighty. good adaptation from paper. That's kind of stopping what you said earlier, right? Nico loves to go from that side B usually when he's high up on the ceiling. And paper has been really, really stopping Nico from going for that. Yes, definitely. And, uh... uh oh, what? Hey, man, we ha it happens. Lost it. Man, paper lost it, dude. Man, he's yeah, he, he lost it. And he, was, he was doing so well too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've seen paper's using that up the off stage to edge edge super well. Uh, he's clipped out uh, a lot of recoveries and that kind of thing. But it's such a good option because it has all those iframes on it. Yeah. Okay, open shark in there. I don't. I, you know, that's probably not gonna work. Against you, so. Joke's just gonna camp you in the ledge there and wait for you to pick an option. Ooh, I like the back air attempt too because he didn't want to go for up just yet and he actually just knew like, okay, if you want gonna chase me, going for back air, like retreating back air is really good at the situation, so it's really good for him to go for that option. Nair that has that back hitbox forward air, yep. Such good positioning, and I feel like that's one thing that he was really good at doing. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for an air. It's got that back hit that'll go come through. If my opponent like tries to like roll, it'll give me good positioning. Even if they try to go anywhere, anything in general. Bounce out, nice. Yeah, Smash hard. Standing at outside of the range, yeah. range, and just kind of pressuring and putting on damage and buster mode. There's not a lot of paper can do. Yeah, and that'll be the one occurrence that I've ever seen that counter kill. Wow. Yep. Are you sure that move doesn't do I can feel the power. Uh, I'm gonna ask him because it's coming. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna ask him. Nico, well, his vision damage, please? 